The Memories album is a compilation of songs we grew up on. Songs that used to be on the radio in the dances in the 60s and early 70s. Songs which inspired Steel and Cleavy and shaped our character and our taste for music. Cornell Campbell was definitely one of the great singers from that era and certainly one of my favorites. And this album would never be complete without a song by him. Cornell Campbell. Here we go, stars. Some voice, and you know, we, it was a real, real, real great pleasure working with him. This project is the last project my partner and I had started working on before he passed away on September 1st, 2009. These songs on this album were memorable experiences for us, having heard these songs, listened to the musicianship and the production, and these helped to shape our careers and made us who we are today. And um, our appreciation for music is as a result of having grown up hearing these classics, classics. 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 This is to be a classic. Certainly, Steely and Cleave has shared some great music with you over the years. But how about journeying with me now, as I retrace and revisit some significant locations along Steely and Cleave's musical path. First up, the Harry J's recording studio, which is just a stone's throw away from the Bob Marley statue, opposite Jamaica's National Stadium in Kingston. Roosevelt Avenue, this is where it all began for Steely and Cleave as together we debuted as recording musicians on our first recording for Earl 16 on a song called Man Making Plans. From here, we knew we were well on our way and we decided then that we couldn't stop. And I recall Steely saying, Harry J's Recording Studio, 10 Roosevelt Avenue. Great memories. From here, I continue my journey down to Bell Road off the Marcus Garvey Drive to Tough Gang International 
formerly Federal Recording Studio, where one year before Steele and Cleaver's debut at Harry J, I made my first mark on tape in a song called We've Got a Good Thing Going. Recorded by the Brownie Bunch, I was the lead singer, along with my brothers, Glenn, Dalton, Noel, and Danny Brownie, all well-known musicians today. And it was through this working relationship with the producers Mikey Chung and Jeffrey Chung, we were able to sit in on some of the projects they worked on. Never Never was one of these great songs. And um, as a result of that impact it had, Never Never was one of the choices for the Memories album. Steely and Cleavis' choice for the Memories project. I'd like to run away from you, but if you never find me, I would cry. Chains you put around me, but I know I never will. You stay away, and all I do is wonder why the hell. Yes, I this is it. Tough Gun International, for formerly the Federal Recording Studio. But when will come memories, memories, day. memories. I continue my journey to Digital B's recording studio in Hue and Den, but not before passing by the King Jammy's recording studio in Olympic Gardens, aka Waterhouse. I remember when we went in this room, you know, you sent us for a little part, you know, the, the, the cake pan? Yeah. I'm going for the cake pan. And then you just start beat it and oh, I remember that. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> Memories played so, is that better. So you, so you won't know. But it's all reggaeton come about, right? Yeah. You know, right? Yes. That's reggaeton, right. that's Spanish music. Right. Right. Yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. And tell you what I remember again. I remember when Tiger was in the studio. Yeah. yeah. And Tiger got a phone call. Uh -huh. And it was like, when? 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 <laughs> <laughs> Come again. Yeah. <laughs> and I remember all that same song come out. Yes. Yeah, the Calibon player is that gentleman. All that digital B studio right, right. telling you some of the history mm -hmm. of the recordings with Steel and Cleveland. Mm -hmm. Done and here at Digital B studio. And the real beats of those era coming up into this time, which cannot die, cannot be forgotten, and always live on.